Welcome to Tech Talks. Our security edition today is focused on intelligence management with Splunk and TrueStar. Tech Talks is a series of short webinars that are deep dives for technical practitioners. We value you, our customer, and want you to continue in your Splunk journey. Our experts will help create these best practices, and we want you to leverage them in your daily role. I'm Casey Wopat, a product marketing manager, and I'm excited to share with you information about Splunk's newest acquisition, TrueStar, and our intelligence management capabilities with Splunk Enterprise Security. I'll be joined by my colleague, Steve Shamalis, a product manager, who will be doing a demo of the TrueStar Unified app for Splunk Enterprise and Enterprise Security. Today, we are going to provide a brief introduction to TrueStar and talk about intelligence management challenges and how to solve them using Splunk and TrueStar, a demo of the TrueStar Unified app for Splunk Enterprise and Enterprise Security, and then we will cover additional resources available to help you take advantage of TrueStar intelligence management capabilities in Splunk. Our team will be available for Q&A throughout the webinar over the Q&A widget within your screen. And if you watch a recorded version of this webinar, please continue the conversation through the Tech Talk discussions in the Splunk community at splunk.com forward slash tech talk. Splunk acquired TrueStar earlier this year and TrueStar is an intelligence management cloud native platform. Our mission is to help enterprises get the most out of their data. TrueStar's principles help guide how we define our roadmap and look for innovation in our platform. We are community driven. Enabling intelligence sharing is core to our values and TrueStar enables companies to take advantage of existing intelligence for their playbooks and to share vetted data with internal or external groups when needed. TrueStar is cloud native. We were born in the cloud and a cloud native approach to enriched threat intelligence removes the need for organizations to install and run their software in their own data centers. We are data centric. Intelligence drives efficiencies and organizations need to get their analysts out of the data wrangling work and arm them with the right data at the right time to optimize mean time to detect and mean time to respond. You can't get from the core detection and response to automation unless you have organized intelligence. With TrueStar, Intel sources are managed separately and upstream from app-based automation. And finally, TrueStar is API first. One challenge we see again and again is that companies invest in several different mission critical applications that help but also create data silos. Our API first approach enables you to access investigation context and data enrichment in your own mission critical security tools so you can take advantage of your data in the platforms that you already use day to day. Bi directional integration flows allow your threat intelligence solution to apply historical intelligence from alerts or incidents you've investigated in the past and share the enriched insights as part of your current investigations. The underlying challenge is always the same. There are too many disparate data sources that all have different structures and formats, which make it hard to work across multiple systems and data silos in an automated way for faster detection and accelerated response to threats. Because of this fragmentation, the intel becomes too noisy and security analysts struggle with manual curation and processes, enrichment becomes difficult and clunky, and much of the context is lost without some way of prioritizing. Using TrueStar Intel workflows, you can minimize the manual cycles associated with integrating intelligence into detection and response flows. TrueStar enables companies to automate the processing of data collected from different sources through the use of weights and transformations to ensure analysts are working on the most critical items. 
Different intelligence sources will rate risks differently, making it difficult for operators to triage and investigate events. TrueStar normalizes scores to a single scale to make consumption by downstream SIM and SOAR tools far easier to automate around. SafeLess are a core element of TrueStar's Intel workflows and facilitate the maintenance of clean, usable data for noise reduction. With the TrueStar Unified app for Splunk Enterprise and Enterprise Security, you can automatically download observables from premium intelligence, open source, or sharing groups into Splunk KV stores for using and searching or to alert against internal log events. The app also allows you to enrich and prioritize notable events in Splunk Enterprise Security with multiple intelligence sources for accelerated investigations. You can customize data ingest preferences based on indicator type, tags, and age of indicator to cut down on data volume exchange between tools for better accuracy and to automatically submit notable, notable events to TrueStar enclaves for further enrichment and correlation with historical data to triage alerts based on context and severity. Now I'm going to pass things over to Steve to demo the unified app for Splunk Enterprise and Enterprise Security. Let's take a look at how Splunk and TrueStar have come together to tackle this noise reduction problem. The Splunk TrueStar team implements two layers of noise reduction, and the first is here in, True, in the TrueStar platform. After TrueStar has started aggregating Intel for the user, the user can leverage TrueStar's Intel workflows and safe lists to prepare curated subsets of observables that, the, that meet the user's score and type preferences so that all Intel that lands in Splunk or whatever detection tool you're working with has been through a filtering layer in TrueStar, which should lead to a higher probability that detections or notable events generated from that intel are in fact something that an analyst should address. Lots of notable events that would once upon a time have been created will not be created because of this first layer of filtering that is done inside TrueStar. Let's set up an example workflow here real quick. So. To do so, the first thing I need to do is just enter a workflow name. The next, I'm gonna select the Intel sources that I'd like to include in this workflow. Uh, so my, my demo account here has access to these, you know, roughly 15 sources. For this example, I'm going to select, I'll take Sijax, Bambanek, uh, HISAC, and CrowdStrike Falcon Intel. Next, I'll select weights. If I choose to, weights allow me to specify that some Intel sources have more influence or less influence over the final score for an indicator than some of the other sources do. For this example, I'm leaving it all equal. So all sources have equal impact on the observable's final score for the workflow. Next, I need to select some transformations that I want this workflow to apply to my data. For this particular example, I'm going to select all observables that are scored low, medium, or high of type IPv4, email, and domain. And I'm going to apply these three safe lists to this workflow. This is going to ensure that any observables I've added to these safe lists never end up in Splunk never cause Splunk or your, your detection tool of choice to create a notable event or a detection. Once I'm done setting up this workflow, the observables that meet its criteria are going to start flowing into, in our example, Splunk. Let's take a look there. Hey, here's our IP Intel uh, KV store contents of note when the, when, when the TrueStar integration into Splunk Enterprise and ES downloads observables from, from the TrueStar workflow into the KV store, it'll, those records in the KV store will include the observable value, the name of the Intel source that reported on this observable, TrueStar, shameless plug, 
the name of the Intel workflow and the timestamp that this source last reported about this observable. Okay, so the let's talk about the second layer of, of, of noise reduction. The second layer of noise reduction takes place inside enterprise security. When notable events are created off of the intel that's here in these KV stores, an adaptive response action adjusts the urgency score on, the notable, on those notable events so the analyst can address the most threatening notable events first. Let's take a look. Here's our incident review dashboard with our notable events. In my instance, I have 300 threat intel related notable events. This is problematic for me because I have no way of knowing which of these 300 I should start with. And without something telling me which, you know, which I should start with, I run the risk of, of spending a lot of time investigating and triaging notable events that were never worth my time to begin with. The way the True Star and Splunk team helps with this is through the use of an enrichment adaptive response action that will query that notable that enterprise security will use to query back to TrueStar for enrichment on that on that uh, notable events observable and adjust this urgency score according to the, the, the indicators normalized score from provided by all of its Intel sources. So what you'll end up with is a list of notable events that all have varying urgency scores that you can then sort and prioritize, that helps you sort this list and prioritize it easily. So let's see this, this response action real quick. Okay, so I've enriched one. I'll run it again on this one. And just, you know, of note, I'm running this manually for the demo purposes. In any ordinary uh, deployment for a user, this is, this is going to happen automatically in conjunction with the threat activity uh, notable event creation. Okay, and we're going to fast forward through this video while I do the rest of these. So here is our, our incident review dashboard again, same notable events. We've run the enrich action on all of them. As you can see, some of them came back low, medium, high. So now uh, a couple things. Number one, we could have avoided a lot of the lows by you know, filtering those out in our, in our Intel workflow transformations. I brought them in for the purposes of this demo, but if you wanted to avoid lows altogether, great, you can take care of that in the Intel workflows. Um, so now as an analyst, after I've enriched, you know, the notable events that, that were created from, from the, uh, the Intel workflows observables, I can come over here to the urgency column hit sort and all of my highs float to the top. And now as an analyst, I have a prioritized, I've, I've just prioritized my list of, of work here. So I went from, you know, 300, having no clue of, of which ones to start with or which might be uh, more threatening than the others to, I know exactly, you know, which, which 10, that I need to start with first, and then I can resort by medium because we sort by alphabetically here. Uh, go after the mediums, and then you know tackle some lows if I have time. That's it. Great, thank you so much, Steve, for that demo. We're about ready to wrap up this tech talk, but before we do, I wanted to share some resources available to you to continue your journey. You will receive these assets in a follow-up email as well as the recording. The TrueStar Unified App Product Brief will give you more details on the TrueStar and Splunk Enterprise Security Integration. The Unified App Overview and Intel Workflows videos will provide additional details on setting up TrueStar Intel Workflows and integrating with Splunk Enterprise and Enterprise Security. 
And finally, the Splunk Acquires TrueStar blog will give you further details on how TrueStar will strengthen Splunk's security portfolio. Don't forget that we have an incredible community of Splunk users on our community site. You can search the answers section on intelligence management. You can continue the conversation for this talk within the discussion section called Tech Talks at splunk.com forward slash tech talk, where you will find all the additional resources. And finally, there's Splunk Ideas, where you can submit new product enhancements or vote for your current ideas from other customers. We really appreciate you taking the time out of your schedules to join us today. Please tune back in for future Tech Talks, and we are excited to share the series with you.